Hi, it's David and Chair Deep. Uh, despite his busy schedule, uh, Chair Deep has come back to talk uh, with us about some more of the CloudStack networking features. Uh, so, one of the features that CloudStack recently introduced was this idea of a redundant router. Um, and CloudStack has has long talked about uh, high availability, and I, I've always said uh, when we were talking publicly that. That's not high availability. That's not true high availability. It's not. Uh, it's not things like pacemaker or core sync that are sitting in the background ensuring there's something always there. It's we'll we'll detect it and we'll make that mean time to recovery really short. Uh, but but this is truly a highly available uh, router solution. Can you can you tell us a little bit about why uh, why the impetus to do that and and uh, a little bit about the technology behind it. Sure. When you use the advanced virtual uh, networking mode, uh, the router sits between. It's, it's, it's an edge router, so it sits between you and the internet. Mm -hmm. And so if that goes down, you're, you're essentially lost access to your uh, guest instances. Yeah. So all of your VMs, yeah. effectively, they're still running, but then if the, you you can't, can't talk to them, and they can't talk to the internet. So it's a single point of failure. Right? It is a single point of failure. Yeah. I mean, typically, what we CloudStack will do is that if the router dies, for example, if the hypervisor tells us that it's dead, we will restart it. Sure. But then that gives you a long, fairly long window of downtime in the order of minutes. Sure. And so uh, to make that in more in terms of seconds, we, we introduced the rear and router feature. Yeah. So, so um, from what I understand by reading the, the functional spec, that, that's using uh, virtual redundant, redundant router <laughs> protocol. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how that's set up and architected to to ensure uh, to ensure availability? <coughs> sure. I mean, VRRP is a very standard protocol. It's been around mm -hmm. on the internet for uh, decades, if, if not longer. Um, so we just there's an open source package called VRRP, which mm -hmm. which we uh, take advantage of, and on top of that, we take advantage of um, uh, Keep Alive D mm -hmm. uh, to do, do the actual switchover. Uh, so VRP is a standard protocol where each there's two when we start up two routers mm -hmm. and one router is the passive and one is the active and these two routers keep pinging each other with with the VRP protocol and when we're, the the slave or the, or the backup detects the master router is, is dead the the slave takes over the IP addresses mm -hmm. and then the slave also has a current copy of firewall rules the, the VPNs and everything the whole state of the router and so is able to come up very quickly. So, so uh, you of course are, are ensuring that, that those two virtual machines are allocated to, to different hosts, right? That's right. These yeah. two uh, virtual machines are all, always on different hosts. Right. So, uh, what uh, what are you look? What do you see typically in, in failover time? Um, the the failover time is actually configurable. Mm -hmm. um, it's not easily configurable, but it, it is configurable. But the standard uh, timeout is five seconds. Five seconds, so you could uh, you could of course make that larger or smaller. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, what um, what extra does that does that consume? Ex I assume that it consumes extra resources. Certainly allocated. Resources. It does. You you have a virtual router which is essentially sitting around doing nothing. Right. But if you if you need that uptime, that's really yes. cheap insurance. Exactly. Yeah. Very good. Anything else we need to know about uh, about CloudStack's redundant router feature? Um, I think that's it. Oh, outstanding! Thanks for making the time to talk to us.